What is going on guys? We're back with another video and of course we're in the Packers Primetime 2.0 franchise and we are in week 7 going against the Lions. We're 5-0. and They're 1-5. and Currently, I don't know, maybe somebody in the comment section would be able to tell, but are we on a, what, 28 win streak? Something ridiculous. Really crazy. Have not lost in like over a season and a half. Maybe almost two seasons at this point. Um, equivalency for games. Of course, this is the lowest team in our division. Might be top five lowest in the league, actually. Uh, oh, there's a lot of teams doing badly, but it is top five. Just barely in the top five. The Vikings have uh, kind of made a comeback. It's four and two. You know, they actually have a chance now, especially if we can catch a loss or two. Uh, did we even play the Vikings yet? Didn't even play the Vikings. I think we've already been over this. Week 13 and week 16, yep. Those are the uh, matchups. I would assume we took a look at the players of the week, and I would assume, once again, we probably did not get one, and that would be correct. Uh, taking a look at the season stats real quick. Harper looking good. What about rushing? Carter looking really good. 7.1 per carry. And even Suggs is getting involved and having a pretty decent season. NFL number one is Royal, but of course no one comes close to Carter's yards per carry. Carter and then Suggs is number two. The next and legit is Amir Abdullah, which is ironic because that is the Vikings. Uh, so that's an interesting one. Going to go against the Lions right now. Of course, we'll take a quick look at the uh, team. Ooh, maybe Sean Carter can get to 88 spin. I want to get his juke move also up, but it's not going to happen yet. Cole, actually, we have a little bit of XP, so we'll use that first. Nardrick is 28. Should we hit him that extra speed upgrade? I mean, it's the last season. Could be big. Screw it. We'll get him the speed. Oh, it actually upgraded him too. That's interesting. All right. I don't feel bad about it now. What about Clint Dix? He's 28 as well. 31k XP. Let's be honest. He's not going to... What's the highest I can get his man coverage? 80. I mean, that makes him an average corner, but we don't even need corner really. Honestly, I don't know what to grab. Don't like any of these. Uh, like, they seem like a lot of waste. It is what it is. I got McKinnon to 88 catching because I'm sick of him dropping passes. And by passes, I mean interceptions because he's not a receiver. And I probably didn't need to tell you guys that because he's terrible. Look at Amari, by the way. He's like a fullback. 95 run block, and he's insane. What about Porcher? Porcher's looking pretty good, too. Pretty much uh, using all of it on uh, run block at this point. There's really not much more to go with other than maybe like elusive moves. Like Devontae doesn't have all 99s like the other lads, but... Run black, of course, is one of the biggest needs, especially from the receiving core. So that's what we're going to keep going with, I think. Here we go. A nice little sunny day. Probably getting close to the point where the snow and wind could become a, become a factor. We'll see. Of course, yeah, use a little bit of different uniforms for today's matchup. Also seen on the bottom, kind of a big one. Uh, Chicago versus uh, Minnesota. I've seen Chicago take down some of the big dogs this season. So who knows? Who knows? be uh, very bad for our competitors. Even the Lions would want the Bears to win. Nine touchdowns, six picks. I mean, hey, who knows? Matthew Stafford's still got it. Their receiving core isn't the worst possible receiving core. It's not the greatest. Definitely not the worst, though. Tevin Coleman's a very good running back, and he's going to get lit up. First play by McKinney. Like, McKinney at this point is almost Ray Lewis status. Like, that's how, that's how dominant he's become. Doesn't make mistakes. He just gets his job done. Does a good job of it. Ebron's still on this team. Chasing down. I'll go inside. Got to get some pressure at this point, man. And at this point, what do you do? Nice hit. But what do you do in coverage? Perfect coverage all the way down. Brought four-man rush and just can't even get close. Once again, just sitting in perfect coverage and... They get about five seconds or more to throw every time, and you're going to get the first down every single time. We always start very slow on this franchise. Like, that's what they need to do. They need to show overalls when they show that little graphic, I think. And I got blocked nicely over the middle. Oh, I thought that should have been dropped. They ran into each other. That one's less... I mean, to be fair, we did bring a lot of pressure, but that one's less pressure fault, more my fault. Honestly, on this league, sometimes the only way we make a stop is if we run a man blitz. Although I don't like the fact that they have so many receivers in. I don't I don't think we're going to make a stop here. And we got the play, actually. Never mind. After this game, if I remember, I'll probably take a look at somebody move up on that 
No, maybe not. Good Kevin King down to the one. Nice stop. So he might be on his way to retirement soon. No pressure. This is easy. Touchdown. Or not. Kevin King with a play, and that's a pick six. Kevin King's not the fastest man in the world, but with 91 plus speed on an undercut, that's game. Not game, but you know what I mean. When playing on against an offense like ours, that is literally the worst thing you can do. His hand dust points. Stafford looks so good, and then I was, just was able to see why his picks, the touchdowns, is very close to his touchdowns, I guess. Chiefs haven't won a game. If anything, the upset would be the Chiefs winning. But you can't even call it an upset if they're matched evenly. Like, the Lions beating us, that's an upset. Well, really, anyone beating us is an upset. Could be a 16-0 team. Not even. That's another pick six. Reynolds, on the other hand, is fast. What is Stafford doing? Don't get me wrong. We've had success in this league, in this franchise, with playing dominantly. But this is another level. Unbelievable. We're hurrying up to the line to run this in for a score. Inside, Carter fighting down to the three. They even get out on defense late. Porcher, what a catch. He got hammered. It was a good throw. Great catch. And we're up 21-0. to zero. And the worst part is I can't even trust Stafford to even sim on defense. We're up 21-0 to zero and I can't even sim a couple of plays because he might throw a pick. He is throwing picks left and right. I mean, he looked very good on his first drive. McMullen, nice play. Blitz finally gets there. Well, unfortunately for the Vikings, this will not be the week that they catch up. The Lions have already uh, made sure of that first quarter. Over the middle, good find, to be fair. It's a really good find. He got a lot of yards there. Over the middle, it's a good play. Huge hit, and that is unfortunate because they were starting to develop a drive. Cole hammers him. Cole is having... A potential player of the week type game. I mean, look at how much time we have. I mean, this is unbelievable. Damn it, Andrews. You got to get that truck for me. Like, this team is getting handled in every facet of the game. Ooh, good play. Good rush by Ansa, who's like 96 by now. Pretty much hand of the game away. Nope. No. Not making their first stop. The perfectly thrown ball. Ooh, I thought I had him. Over the middle again, and I had to leave him. Once again, that play does not get pressure at all. You know, maybe late in the third, but sec you know, late in the second, maybe maybe run the ball a little bit. There it goes. I mean, look at, I mean, there goes Clowney. Good sack. Don't usually use the, uh, the outside players on this team because I'm not really a fan of the way our guys play. Get off me. To be fair, bold. Oh, my God, what a hit. Which is crazy because we play perfect coverage. I mean, that's good coverage in third and 11. We did exactly what we need to do, get off the field. It's not a first down. How in the hell was that not a first? Third and inches, Carter up the middle. Easy as pie, and I didn't, get the, if I didn't stumble. I might have been able to sneak out of there. It's not a play I like. Ooh, a flag. They're going to call a PI. I have never, ever seen that. Or it's going to be offensive PI. And I threw it to him. I just, I just shoveled it to him. Never seen that one before. That was in very... That was actually probably... That could be the first instance of that in Madden this year. Like, how many times would a scenario like that happen? I'm going to get out of bounds. I've never, like, trusted this. Like, I don't know what that route is. I don't know how you... Like, is that a uh, is that a one-on-one -on -one route, maybe? But other than that, I don't think so. Inside, Porter's wide. I don't know if he can score, though. Close down to the seven. If we are left short, though, we might miss out on points. I should have threw to the tight end. Ooh, that's a good sack. Hit it to the line. Oh, they're gonna make me watch Ansa's animation. Are you serious? This game is a joke. Either way, it's 28 to 3 our ball. I can't believe that. They make me watch the animation. I even held A and nothing. They make me watch the animation before choosing a play. Oh, right bumper, man. Who is that? And that's picked. Holy crap. Slay's a god. Good run, but Clowney not having any of that. A loss of six. What a play. And what a throw and catch. Slay. That man's dangerous. He does, I believe. Enough of a block. Good job. 
It's good enough for me. I'll take it. Vikings keep, you know, they kept winning. They'd have a chance, but losing to a team like the Bears. What a block. That's a great block. I don't know why, but I really like the way Suggs looks in this uniform. Normally, it looks way too, like, heavy in the chest. Can we outrun him? We can. Oh, Harper. Easy. 13-yard touchdown. The man's got speed. What a play. I think it was Porcher drew the corner out just enough. Stafford showing some poise here, even though it doesn't really matter since they completely choked this game away. Any chance they had is gone. It was crazy to think. Like, the Vikings started with, what a D. What what a D? Okay. Oh, the Vikings have a chance, to be fair, but the Vikings started with such a team. What a play. Huge hit, and he holds on. Ebron has made a couple of, his, of those catches over this Madden season against me, so can't really be too mad. Fourth quarter, though, up by... An unmeasurable amount. I know math, but you know, still uh, immeasurable. Oh, McKinnon should have that pick. 88 catch. Give me that pick. We have an injury. Please not be us. Doesn't matter to them. They're out of the playoffs. Well, I guess it's not gonna happen anyways. And McKinnon. But is it Rogers' fault though? Who knows? Maybe Rogers got injured. Over the middle. What? A throw. Stafford put a nice throw on that one. Damn. That was a good play. He gets free rush on me. Ty Montgomery. Right foot. Gets the feet down. What a play, man. Could run a pass. I believe in Suggs. There you go, Suggs. Get out of our way. Slay, of course, is going to bring us down. He might here, though. He has the blocks, I think. The speed of Carter. The speed all the way down to the two. Damn, they have that red. Good read by the linebacker. That's going to be still three points. Bigger cushion, I suppose. Look at the whole Carter easy score. And there's another pick from Reynolds that could go for six. And it will. We have our defensive player of the week, of course. Going to sim the game out, and we win 51-13. to 13. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the sliders 99 uh, defense for coverage, I think. Not that they're, that's much further than what it is. It's already 95, but even then, like it doesn't matter because the, the quarterback play from the other team is just so horrible. Well, at least this week it was. There's like, what, five picks this week? He played better than he did the first quarter, but still... Threw the game away, basically. 21 in the first, 7 in the second, third in the, 7 in the third, and 16 in the fourth. Leading up to 51 points, which I think is a bad score. I think our kicker might have missed his extra point. Oh, well. How do they even have highlights for them? We dominated them at every aspect of the game. Except for, I mean, the, the ground defense was okay. We had one good drive for running, but overall their ground defense wasn't terrible. Reynolds with two pick sixes on the game. Kevin King with a pick six. Cole had a pick. Reynolds had himself a nice game playing that slot corner. He uh, played expertly. They were through with the ball a lot, but we took the ball away from them six times. Barely had over uh, 300 yards of offense, but it doesn't matter because we destroyed them. Let's take a look at the stat line, of course. Harper had three touchdowns, but only two passing, and he did throw a pick. He had that slay. was really good for them, I will say. Rushing Carter is, uh, you know, yards were very bad this week. Suggs, 4 for 65. He actually did very well. Receiving Aguilar was uh, decent for them. Ewing, uh, once again, our highest total was 52. Defensively, Clowney with three sacks. Kenny Clark with a sack. McMullen with a sack. Picks, two for Gilbert Cole, two for Reynolds, one for King. And uh, we had three defensive touchdowns. So, Lions basically handed that one to us. Can't call it anything else. Hey, a win is a win. Let's advance one more week, and uh, we'll take a good look at if we want to make any trades because, of course, this is the last week. So let me know if there's anybody that you think we should trade for. What's Reynolds XP? 10K. That probably means you won Defensive Player of the Week. I want to see how you can beat two pick sixes. That's pretty hard. And there it is. The Bears quarterback gets Player of the Week. Ironically, let's take a quick look at Rodgers' season because I know the uh, Dolphins are pretty sure – are one and six now. Rogers still doing all right. Eleven touchdowns, four picks, sixteen hundred yards. I mean, that's pretty much 
on our guys' par. Rushing, Jay Ajayi's not even doing too bad either. He doesn't have the receiving talents. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know these youngsters. Maybe they're good. Either way, we have to play the Niners, who are a bad record. We do have to play the Bears after this, which they gave the Vikings a pretty good show. So who knows? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, as usual. And remember, let me know if there's anybody you think we should trade for. Hopefully you guys uh, do come back for next video. But until next video, see